Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group, and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Business Process Management, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Capture and Manage Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll discuss different techniques used when analyzing business processes, including reviewing existing documentation, conducting interviews and running workshops, shadowing and observing, drawing process maps, and using BPMN and BPEL or BPL. Business process analysis involves decomposing a process to understand its basic tasks, routes, and rules, and to chart its performance in terms of resources consumed, time taken, etc. The idea is to uncover the inevitable inefficiencies that creep in so that bottlenecks, loops, and any unnecessary work can be eliminated. The analytical process starts, of course, with collecting information about the business process you're studying, and it ought to involve a series of different activities. One of the more important ones is to review any existing documentation that directly or indirectly illuminates how work gets done in the business unit or organization you're focusing on. Even where particular activities appear chaotic and no procedure manuals are available, individuals often keep notes to remind them how to do things, and this can be a great soup starter for your analysis task. Organizational culture is a major contributor to the effectiveness of one versus the other, as people who feel free to talk obviously will do so more readily than those who will wonder whether their inputs will be viewed as senior management criticism. Another very good method is to shadow and observe a process in action. It feels strange at first because you literally sit and watch how people work and make notes about what you see. In the beginning, some people will do things the way they think you want to see them done, but after a while, they'll revert to their usual habits, and it can be interesting to see how what they tell you in an interview differs from what actually takes place. At the end of the day, the reason you're collecting all that good insight is to write it all down so you can analyze and improve upon it. One of the best ways of doing this is to draw a map of how you understand the process flows, and then confirm your view with some of the people who take part in it. Flowcharting is the more basic of the two major varieties of maps in use. A simple technique, it calls for sketching out the order and flow of activities within an organization and creating a graphic of the sequence and key elements. Process models are more advanced, though, as they take a flowchart's information and add data from other sources to flesh out the diagram. The end result is a detailed construction of what occurs in each step of a process and how different processes link together. The capturing of this kind of detail means process models can also be used to support the simulation of flows to check for efficiencies and bottlenecks and to support the future monitoring of improved processes. Properly drawing process maps is not simply a matter of drawing boxes on a screen and connecting them up with little arrows. In fact, the activity is laden with notational shorthands to make it very clear just what's happening where in the process. The standard used for this is called Business Process Model and Notation, BPMN a graphical representation for specifying business processes in a business process model. Developed by the Business Process Management Initiative, BPMI, it has been maintained by the Object Management Group since the two organizations merged in 2005. BPMN uses specific symbols to represent specific process elements. There are flow objects, including events, start and end, activities, tasks, basically, and gateways, process forks and merges. There are connecting objects, which include sequence flows, the order that things flow in, message flows, charting communications across organizational boundaries, and association, inputs and results. There are swim lanes, 
including pools, or major organizational participants in a process, and lanes, indicating activities within a pool according to function or role. And then finally there are artifacts, including data objects, showing the reader which data is required or produced in an activity, groups of activities, and annotations provided for clarity. BPMN can be used as a graphical front end to something called BPAL, or Business Process Execution Language, which is an OASIS standard XML-based language for actually executing business process actions via web services. Because both are still emerging in terms of practical implementation, this tight coupling is not yet a given, though it is representative of where the future of process analysis and automation lies. Like so many other information management strategy tasks, process analysis involves a number of different techniques that you'll want to use in balance so you don't spend so long analyzing that you never actually get to making improvements. In this module, we talked about these techniques in particular, reviewing existing documentation, conducting interviews and running workshops, shadowing and observing, drawing process maps, and using BPMN and BPEL. With this module now behind you, you may next wish to review the section that describes how to design and perform a workflow or process audit. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.